look at look at the look at that back right would you there. Would you fight that guy? I uh, absolutely would not. I'm also a pacifist, Maddie. That's same true. as you. That's true. Same clan. Shuriken MMA is a very peaceful organization. Yeah. Don't let the name fool you. We just roll around in pajamas. We're not about all this kicking and punching business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We leave that for the uh, the big boys. Yeah. For the Ezra's of the world. Yeah, the men made of stronger stuff than me. Yeah. And we're underway. Tim Littler claps us in. Richard Callahan versus Ezra Bergen. Nice, solid low kicks there. And yeah, straight away you just, man, the size of he's Ezra's a, body. He's a monster, dude. And I say body because I just can't specify between upper and lower. Just every part is absolutely jacked. He's just generally huge. Nice. And yeah, you see him really playing the bully oh. here early. And some nice body shots there from Ezra. Yeah. That southpaw lead hook to the body of Richard Callahan. Yeah, ripping that body. We'll see if he uses it to go upstairs. Oh, oh. And then we just see him send the left hook downstairs to the liver there. Yeah. Prompts to take down a 10 from uh, Richard. Yeah. Stuffed by Ezra. Just a but little bit too tele telegraphed, a little bit too much distance on that shot. Yeah, and I think, yeah, Richard really needs to do something to get Ezra's respect here because he's just walking him down oh. with impunity. And you see Ezra take a bit of a bad step after that kick. Not sure if it was just a loss of balance. Oh, oh and, and he I sends heard that, that low three again and again. And he's just doubling up on that left hook. Nice. Ezra drops really well to the single. Looks like he's going to trip him. He tr uh, transitions to the double. And gets his hands together. Ezra Nick. rips him up with a chin strap. Yeah, just a bit of some, you know, display of strength there on the, from Ezra on the takedown defense. Just smashed his hips in and was able to disconnect Richard's hands, which were previously locked on the double leg. And now kneeing his way out of the clinch. Yeah, and I again, think he just bulldozes straight back on the front foot. I think the deeper this fight goes, the better it's going to be for Richard. Yeah, Ezra obviously in great shape, but tough to know, you know, ha how much of a relative pace this is for him. Nice calf yeah. kick there. It's a lot of muscle to fuel. And Richard's doing a really good job, you know. He's um, breaking up Ezra's rhythm with the takedown attempts, and but this is where he sort of gets himself into trouble when he gets shelled up against the cage, and that's when Ezra's having great success sending those uh, body shots. Yeah, nice. You see Richard really freezing up now with the feints of Ezra. Those body shots look like they're hurting. He's deep on a single. Yeah, he's deep on the hit outside single there. And Ezra looking for the standing guillotine. Yeah, it looks like he's on the neck. He's on the good side as well. Gets a bit of twist on. Looks like he's going to try to go high elbow, take the forearm over the shoulder. Richard really needs to fight those hands. He's got the one hand in. I'd like to see him commit two. Yeah, and um, maybe he, he might be all right if he, you know, if he doesn't feel like he needs to roll or spin out of the choke. Might not be as tight as it appears, but as I say that, he goes to his back. Yeah, concedes position. We'll see if Ezra can get his hands locked back together. 30 seconds of the round. That looks pretty tight. Uh, I think he's going to be able to fish that out uh, of there. Yeah, the hand's in there, isn't it? Ezra on top in the half guard now. Yeah. And sort of just a matter of survival here for Richard Callahan. Big Covering shots. up, but good job getting to the turtle and getting back to the leg. Really yeah. tenacious stuff here from Richard. You he's know, he's it looks like he's going to complete the takedown. <laughs> surviving a real onslaught of offense from Ezra Bergen here in the first round. He's actually going to end up on top. Yeah, solid. Yeah, really, really good display of heart here from Richard yeah. Callahan. Ezra literally just pushes him off. Hey. So, yeah, the, the physicality of Ezra and obviously the striking prowess, pretty telling in that round. Yeah. He was able just to get on the front foot whenever he wanted and sort of put, put shots on Richard, who was, you know, found himself backing up and caught against the cage for most of the round, as we see here on our yeah. Box Finesse replay. And we're talking a lot about Ezra's physicality. His technique is really good as well. Oh, see, yeah. Setting Absolutely. up those low shots to the body. Yeah. When I mention Ezra's physicality, I, I definitely don't mean to take anything away from his skill or technique as yeah. a fighter. He's obviously very well skilled. And, yeah, some, some really uh, nice striking work put together uh, in the first round by the core MMA fighter. But re really uh, good job from Richard, you know. I, I believe he's a first-time fighter, so, you know, certainly being um, put through the fire here in the first round. But did a really good job to, you know, get to his takedown attempts and alleviate pressure. Able to keep himself safe enough in the clinches to see the second round here. And we'll see if he's able to swing the momentum of this fight. And both guys with uh, hands on hips to start the round. So oh. a, a, a bit of energy expended in that first round by both parties. Dude, I'm tired just watching. Ezra takes the center already. 
Pushes yeah. Richard up against the fence. It looks like he's going to be a... And that's better from Richard. Firing back with that two. Here we go. Nice. You see the HT fighter getting off some offense of his own. And this is really what he needs to get the respect of Ezra. Yeah. But as we see, Ezra getting off a few shots. And it prompts that takedown attempt again. And yeah, but landing those big shots is going to help set up the takedown as well. Oh, I'll hand this over to you, Matty. Your oh, yep. area of expertise. Looks like Ezra's looking to roll through for an anaconda. He's got his palms together. A little bit of a sit-up there from Richard, but not the best base to do so. We'll see if Ezra's going to try and roll for it, if he's just going to pull him forward and circle to the back. Yeah, Ezra's got his arms in a bit deep yeah. now, and yeah, good choice to disengage yeah. there, Richard, force Richard, Richard to stand. Yeah, Richard did a really good job of separating. It looks like Richard's pretty tired now. Ezra senses that. Oh, straight it's into the mount. Not a good place to be. Those are big shots from the top. Ref Tim Littler having a close look at this one. Yeah. Richard moving, but perhaps not doing enough here. And yeah. indeed, yeah, not the case as Tim Littler steps in. and uh, Just not enough of a defensive effort, I think. Yeah, I mean, yeah. T tough ass there for Richard with, oh, yeah. you know, su such a big, powerful guy on top of him throwing those bombs. And, yeah, stepping up on short notice, you know, uh, ma massive, um, you know, credit is due to Richard here. Stepping in and taking this fight on yeah. short notice and giving Ezra a, a really tough test, you know. But, yeah, uh, yeah ultimately, Ezra was uh, the better man tonight. Yeah, we can see on the replay there, Ezra just clears the knees, takes them out, starts raining down those big shots. And you're right, Joel Richard is moving, but you got to advance position as well, right? You can't sit on the bottom and tightly yeah. bust it from the back. Yeah, no, unfortunately not. Yeah, it doesn't really constitute intelligent defense in the, in the eyes of most referees. So if you're not able to... Uh, improve your position there then yeah oftentimes you'll find the ref stepping in to stop it well done by Ezra Bergen you know a uh, very well-rounded display there um, great great work on the feet some some great uh, striking work and on the ground as well Shout out Richard Gullahan, man. That's a tough fight to take on such short notice. Yeah, there's not many guys who are willing to step up and, you know, face such a dangerous opponent on such short notice. So For free as well. He's not getting paid. Yeah, so, you know, you always got to give a massive um, uh, massive thumbs up to these guys who are willing to step in here on uh, short notice. Also, Harry Glover from Van Roon, uh, Carl Van Roon's Martial Arts. So, yeah. Although he, you know, wasn't able to get the job done tonight, he's, you know, it's a, it's a great show of heart to get in there on such short notice. Good night out. Yeah, I just want to say thanks to Richard for stepping in. I think it was this week. Story of my life, the other dude got COVID, so I've had four people drop out. So it's just good to get back in here. I'm real thankful that I had a fight. I thought this one would get cancelled as well, so thanks, bro. Me. And how did you get the nickname Zeus? My, my mate over here put me up to it. Yeah. Anyway. Any final shout-outs? Just my team. I feel like I'm an arsehole half the time because I put so much energy into this. Don't get it twisted. I fucking love you, dudes. Thank you. Do you have a new winner? Zeus Ezra Bergen. And a pretty fitting nickname. Not as